months of hard work, four seconds of glory. Class one, I need you to the stage and lane. All right, guys. Some say it's a hobby. It's more like an addiction. We're going to be ready to go. We're warming some cars up, and anything goes. That's what happens in our outlaw class. It's the absolute definition of put up or shut up. Get your cameras ready. Now grab another gear and stop the clock. This is Redneck Racing. We're going to see what happens. Here we go. This is for the four-wheel, butt nut, jacked up Chevy truck, rolling in four tough, creeping through them deep ruts. Music crank full speed, moonshine, fresh tree. Look, the keg standing on the roof of that SUV. I'm Big Don, and uh, you know, I got the coolest job in the world, man. I get to go to races every week. I go all over the country announcing everything from drag cars to monster trucks. The passion is mud racing. 50 rednecks show up with their trucks, another thousand show up with a cooler beer to watch, and we get down and dirty. These are rednecks with paychecks, baby. What are you doing? That ain't gonna work, shit. My name's Hippie. Grew up uh, working with my dad and my grandpa around the gas station. Always tinkering with the tools. Couldn't keep me out of it. Don't put your finger where you wouldn't put your dick. Well, I like being a mechanic. I like working on everything, but it's time for me to start driving. Once I went to a mud race and seen the trucks, I was hooked. I'm Michael Locke. I own BMF Customs, and uh, recently we started racing in the Outlaw Mud Pro Circuit. This is Michael Locke. Calls this truck the Rebel Devil. Oh, it's more than a passion. It's a drug. I love the competition of it. You, you can't sleep. You, sometimes I forget to eat when I'm working on my truck. It totally consumes you. Damn, yeah, my fat ass won't fit under here to work on this damn thing. Had to start building me a truck. Well, I got the money to invest, and it's, it's building hands-on. You'll see a guy roll in in a $300,000 motorhome, and you'll see a guy that had to make a decision on the way to the races. We gonna pay the house payment, or we going racing? Well, there's a lot of people that invest a lot of money, and some of the people go out and buy their motors, buy their trucks. They don't know what they have. It, it gets to the point where I want to win so bad against people like that that I will sacrifice everything that I have to do it. <laughs> Waste of fucking money. I'm Kim Locke. I'm married to Michael Locke. Mud racing is a lot of fun, but it certainly doesn't pay the bills. Jesus Christ! We just drove seven hours for this bullshit and you can't even fucking go through the mud? It's ridiculous. <laughs> she's a thorn in my side all week long whenever I'm trying to work on the truck. But uh, on race day, she's my cheerleader and, and she's my confidant. I love him a lot. I just don't like to fucking lose. I mean, that's the great thing about mud racing. It is a family. I would do anything for Michael, wife, his kids. That's the way I am with all my friends. Tell her I paid for her. So we can race. I've said it before and I'll say it a thousand times. We can talk about each other, we can fight amongst ourselves, but nobody else better not mess with us because you're in for an ass whooping. This is the U.S. Outlaw Mud Racing Association. So it doesn't matter if you've got the slowest truck or the fastest truck. When you pull through that gate, you didn't come here to get second. You didn't come here to say, oh, look, we went and got the truck muddy. You came here to kick somebody's ass. Run your truck, not your mouth. Put that thing in the mud. You got the talking part done, Big Daddy. Suit it up. Let's see how bad it is. Hey, it's a party over here. Bring your people to the other side. Take them back roads. You might want to bring your other ride. Big chrome wheels, custom paint. That ain't cutting it. Nobbies with the mud flat.